welcome and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here to another episode of Roots of Pacha. Today, we have some very exciting adventures to take place in. We have just unlocked a new area. It is the 14th of spring, and we awoke at the end of last episode to another cutscene. Let's hop into it and see where our journey brings us today. What are you doing? You are so weird. Sorry, my cat is trying to be in the gaming chair with me. All right, so Grob has unlocked a new area and he's exhausted. Toke, you don't look like a Yukuan. I'm not. Hmm. Do you need help, old man? I'd be careful what you call Grob. Old man! Is this the body of an old man? Sorry. I shouldn't disrespect my elders. That's it. Strength battle. <laughs> What's happening? Person's name is Vala, okay. Zeta, just our brother being our brother. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, those two belong together. You have a waterfall and haven't even jumped off it? I was thinking about it. Ha! Sure you are. This is a lot of people. Too many to be Yakuan. We're Pachans. Aren't you a little far from home? Pacha called us to this place. Oh, she's running. I see. Then be careful of the Yakuans. They can be seen around this area. Inza is gone. Jin, she's gone. She's gone. One was here. You have to be careful. They hide their tentacles well. Hmm. Our last keeper was attacked by them. We don't talk about that. Sorry. Well, I'm Zeta, the leader of the Mograni. And I'm Jin, the leader here. I hope our clans can be friends. Your beautiful... Beautiful fire tells me that Quaro is pleased with you. I think we'll get along well. Just beware of those Akuans. They can't be trusted. Thank you. We'll consider your warning. All right. Interesting new characters. Uh, the blade shears are finished. Akri has finished upgrading your blade shears. You met the Mograni. The Mograni, people of fire, live to the north. They're the ones at odds with the Yakuans. Now, Zeta, we have to leave alone. Bala or Took are romanceable. Okay. <sighs> Darn. Zeta's cool. I'm Zeta, leader of the Mograni. Hello, I'm Bala. Alright. Well, as we do every day, first things first, off to the farm. In fact, let's check out our smoker as well. I did want to see which of these is better. 14... Or 21. So it is better to smoke them. Okay. This is also worth more stamina. Let's get... Actually, let's leave these... No, we just need the wood, I think. 
You know what? We're going to bring this instead. We're, we're just going to bring it. We're just going to bring it. Because I'd rather bring it than not. And have it be an issue. So. Flute out. Into the barn. Play the flute. Pull out the milker. Talk. Ta nope. Talk. Talk. Milk. Ah, oh, my Ibex will be ready to milk in another two days. Okay, so we don't get that very often. Okay. So, watering. And then we do have a new area for us to explore today, which I'm very excited for. I was hoping, was really hoping that we could get some more clearing done. But I think exploring is going to be more important for us in the short term. And the clearing can wait. Don't worry, I see the can the flower. We actually just got a quest about upgrading our belts. Too much to carry. Hey, I have some belts to exchange if you need to carry more things. Well, that's wonderful. But we would need 500 contribution for that. We're not quite there. But what I'm thinking... Is that we could get there pretty soon. However, I do think being able to water more efficiently is more important at the moment. All right, we have shears. As you venture around the land, keep an eye out for flint. Well, yes. Oh, we need 20 hardwood. Okay, we'll have to get that. And it's just 20 hardwood. We don't need anything else. So. We are going to stash the beans. And here's why. We're going to take those beans and we're going to use it to make that food. I do want to grow some quinoa. I know it would be good to grow it down below, but we're going to grow it here for right now. The quinoa we're just going to sell. We're just going to sell this stuff. But we are also going to take this time to cut down this tree. Because this is a hardwood tree. I know that lo leaves us a little low on food. But it's fine. Yeah, we don't need more than 92 sticks.
We do need to not be stuck on a rock, however. So. Hey, Akri. Hey, Akri. Can you make me this? Thank you. Alright. So, we're not getting a new belt tomorrow, unfortunately. But, once we have that bucket, it should be much easier for us to do things like that. So we have much to explore out here. We have discovered garlic seeds. Excellent. Dude, there's like lions and things. Okay, as we look around this area, this place is huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's my thought. Let's explore around this area to start. If we can get up onto this plateau, that's great. But let's wait before we try to cross this river. If we even can cross this river. But let's explore over this way. Because I'm interested to see what we might discover out here. Like a horn, what? And an ant nest, which thankfully doesn't seem to hurt us, but we can't seem to do anything with it. Okay. I can't see what that is. These appear to be harvestable, however. They are. An olive? Okay. A hole in the ground? Can't seem to do anything with it. Okay. An ostrich feather. This is a plant here. What is this? I cannot interact with this. Okay. I apologize for the random audio glitches. I honestly don't know why it does this it is only this game if anyone has any suggestions on an optimization for it i am all ears this place is absolutely ginormous this is nuts oh we've managed to cross the river we were not supposed to cross this river but those are more seeds, so. I guess it's a good thing. Or they're not. They're mandrakes. Okay. Okay. No arguments here. Nope. That's something else that just isn't grown yet. Another anthill, some type of an oasis here. Milk thistles, poop! Oh my goodness, poop. I don't know what we can use poop for yet, but we have poop. Y'all, we have poop. And we have burdock, okay. There's so much to be gathered. Oh, 
cows? It's cows. Y'all, it's cows. This is a brown furry bison female. And one in the male. And some babies. Okay. This is a dark bison female. Well, you know what that means. You know what we gotta do. We gotta attune ourselves to this one because it's the only one of this color. Okay, that wasn't terrible. We're gonna name this one Coco. Honestly, I have no idea why, but we're gonna name this one Coco. And that's a female. Is this the male? This is the male. We're gonna name this one... Hmm... Ferdinand. You gotta, right? Right. Now, obviously... I'm sorry, this is hard. Um, we're going to need... Another barn for these guys. Sorry, shed for these guys. But we're gonna start working on attuning to them. While we can. Because they are pretty cool. And we're still looking around to see... Things like this. See? We need to know about these things. We need to gather these things. We found sesame. This is some cool stuff that we're finding, you guys. I'm not going to go fishing. And the reason I'm not going to go fishing is because I just simply do not have the ability to deal with the fishing. Pyramid achievement. An achievement is ready to be sculpted in the jungle's pyramid. Okay. We're not going to do that right now. We're still exploring. But we can do an achievement in the period, which is cool. Pyramid. And there's our prophecies. So one with the wild. The animals of Pacha abounded. You saw five animal herds. That was from finding the cows. And... We did get milk out of a goat. So we got that as well. We have not gotten any poop out of the barn. So we haven't done that. Even though we got poop. And then we've done everything of this. Except for the animal races. So that's interesting. Ostriches? What? And they come in all kinds of colors. Orange earth ostrich. Mustard ostrich. Grassy green ostrich. And baby mustard ostrich. You know we gotta do the snowy one. This is going to be... Hmm... Hmm. This one is going to be... Snowball is such a dumb name for an ostrich. This is going to be Frost. Frost the ostrich.
and I missed. Okay, so the orange earth is female. What is the green one though? What is that? Oh, hold on. That's a female too. I know it's a baby. But I like the green one a lot. What are you? I gotta know. A guanaco. Um. Okay. These are interesting. We found beets. We really need to get home. We can't even pick this stuff. We've, we've done too much. Okay. We've done too much. I know we're heading away from home. But let's grab our friend here. Get out our torch. <clears throat> and ride our way home as fast as we can. We have a whole inventory just chock full of stuff. Where on earth are we? We're close. We're close. We gathered up so many new things today. And we got so much done. But with us being unable to tell the time, we're not even going to drop things off. We're just going to go to bed, unfortunately. The clan's next project will be village lighting. That's cool. We're at 18,674 clan prosperity. And we contributed only 119 today. But that's because we weren't able to make that final dump into the contribution box, unfortunately. We were running for the bed. So, we're up to 200 contribution points which is not enough for the belt that we're going to need and a new kind of competition why run when you can race so we got some cool stuff going on next time we'll have our water bucket in the morning we finished building a sundial and we've got a quest here as well but unfortunately we have come to the end of another episode. Do you like what you saw today? Feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And I want to thank everyone for watching. For now, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.